Hey designer, Alex here, welcome to the channel and welcome to the new series here on the channel in which we are going to create a music streaming app, a web-based music streaming app. This is the video 4 from the series and the last video from this series in which we are going to add animation, we are going to add interaction and we are going to create a fully fledged prototype of the design we already created. In the video 1 of this series we created the paper wireframes, in the video 2 from this series we dropped those, video, uh, those paper wireframes frames in Adobe XD and in the last video, video 3, we created design from those wireframes in Adobe XD. Grab yourself a cup of coffee or a cup of tea, enjoy the video, this is the last one from this series and if you don't want to miss future videos from this channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and if you want to check out previous videos, links are down in the description. So let's get started. Alright, so welcome to this fourth and final video from this video series in which we are going to connect some more animations and I'm going to show you some uh, a bit more advanced techniques uh, to animating all of your designs. So to get started, what I'm actually going to do is with this one, so most popular and I'm going to open up the number three and I'm going to minimize it. So I'm going to lower the opacity down to zero. You can select it, hit zero on your keyboard two times, or you can lower this slider down to zero. And I'm going to actually create a component from it. So hit control K and I'm going to create just a new state. So I'm going to call it selected song, new state, selected song like so. And inside of that state, I'm actually going to locate it and bring it back to 100%. Now that that's completed, let's actually work with these ones. So if you remember when I hit uh, play, you can see that once we hover, nothing really happens and they stay like uh, they are right here. So what I'm going to do is choose this to be default state and actually now I can hide my grid just so it doesn't distract you. What you can do is jump inside of here because we have default state and hover. Inside of default state, what you can do is actually hit control C, go inside of your hover state, hit control V, and then delete these ones. So now when I go back to the default state and the hover state, you can clearly see the difference between them. So if I jump inside of here, inside of my shadow, I need to increase it to 30, for example just to make it uh, a bit more visible or 20 and inside of our hover state what i'm actually going to do is jump inside of my album artwork i'm going to hold my shift alt and left click to increase it just a little bit so i can go back to default state hit preview so what we've done is we changed the, the opacity of the background shadow we changed the size of the image and we also change and uh, text below so it's not like this but it is like this so you can see how that looks like and if you think that that shadow is a bit too strong you can then lower it down to 10 or 20 or whatever so let's explore it a bit more so we can go back and 20 and maybe 10 i think it's just fine and we need it just so that we can put it in focus so i think that's fine for the hover state. So we are going to go with 10 and now let's do that for all of them. So go into your default state, select all of them, go to your hover state, paste them in, delete all of them. Album artwork, first of all, hit 10 right here. And I'm going to double click, hit shift, alt and left click on my mouse, just so that I can focus on my image a little bit more default state and now let's do the same for all of these hit control c go to hover state control v and you can delete all of these double click inside and shift alt left click and depending of how how much you increase uh, the size of your image in the hover state the effect is going to be uh, larger or smaller so it's really all up to you and what you are after here so 
this is the original image if you just increase it to here for example it's going to be a much lighter effect than to here for example and for these ones i really do want them to be a bit over the top but as i said you can do whatever you want with them so uh, the key uh, differentiation is with this guy for example so you can zoom in on the face and you can even move an image down just to get that additional effect so it's really all up to you uh, what you want to do and what you want to achieve with this effect but i think it's really nice just to indicate that user has selected a certain image or a certain item i'm going to focus this to here and move it just a little bit down then go back to my default state and let's see what we've done so hit preview enlarge it and you can see that we have that nice shadow we have that nice zoom and you can see right here then it zooms and moves just a bit down same with this one so they go quite a bit in focus so as i said you can do that and here we have the scrollable groups still working just fine we have this hover effect on all of these and we have hover effect on these two and now let's go ahead and work with this one and i just want to connect these two finally i have this play icon which i didn't really show you and on the play icon i went ahead and included a new state for the pause and i changed the color of the icon so basically the same icon just with two states uh, one is with the play icon inside and one is with these two lines signifying the pause icon and you can see when I hover they are the same height and they are just a little bit differently positioned and you can see the default state is play and once again click state is pause. So what we are going to do next is actually we are going to play around with our hearts and to do that we are going to jump inside the prototype we're going to jump inside of this first one and let's see perhaps i can even because this was our uh, original one created right here we can even uh, position it here and it's going to work across all of our uh, icons so i'm going to click right here and choose tap auto animate destination is the clicked state and let's see perhaps we can use easy in out let's see and 0 0.3 seconds that's fine then we are going to switch to clicked state and let's see why it's not showing us here so design let's see heart icon inside of the clicked state show us our fill like that go back to the prototype click right here inside of our clicked state tap auto animate and go back to the default state is out 0 0.3 seconds and now if i take you to here it should all be wired it is default state clicked state it goes back to that so now what i can do is actually inside of my design i can go and for example change this to be clicked state then this can also be clicked state and let's see maybe this one as well so click state but because we are in a repeat grid we need to ungroup our grid on this one so recently played artist simply ungroup our grid and now i can close them i need to rename them so i will pause the video there not to bore you but first of all i just want to go back to default state on some of these so let's go back and see where we are so this one this one and this one heart icon default default and let's leave this one to be clicked as well just so that we have some more interest so what i'm going to do lastly is this is artist one and i'm going to pause the video here just so uh, i can rename and organize them in correct manner okay so now that that's completed let's go ahead and close all of these and let's test it out and see what we have so far so if i hit preview you can see that when i click on this one it's going to turn and you can choose whichever one of these you want choose this one for example or this one 
choose this one i can close this one so it's really all up to you what you want to do and these ones are working quite nicely as well we have hover effects on these and we have hover effects on these as well so the last thing which is left for us to do is actually this one so we need to uh, make a selection right here on this uh, song so it appears from the bottom and it actually shows that it's playing right here. So let's go ahead and do that. And to do that, I need to create additional artboard. So make a duplicate by hitting Control D. So on this first state, what I'm going to do is I'm actually simply going to position it down until it leaves my artboard and then simply bring in one or two pixels in whatever you want. I'm going to lower the opacity down to zero. Now on this one, what I'm going to do is simply locate my play icon and select my pause state just so that it shows that it's playing. And finally, we need to connect them. So right here, I'm going to make sure that artist three is selected. Then I'm going to drag it to here. And let's see what we can do is we can choose tap auto animate. Uh, instead of ease out, let's use snap. So it snaps into position and let's use 0 0.4 seconds. Uh, I think that's going to work just fine. Now here in this one, we're going to do the selected song. And when people select that and click it, it's going to take them back to here. So we are going to have exactly the same settings. So let's test it out and see how it looks like. So once again, users can scroll down on each of these. And when you click here, it's going to show you this and it's going to snap uh, in place from the bottom. Now, when you click back, it's going to snap into the original position. So you can see how that looks like. So once again, this selector has this nice uh, background shadow and it has this nice gradient. So it really stands up from our design and it also snaps into position and snaps back down. And this favorite still works. So you can click it right here, but it doesn't work right here. So we have to click it separately and you can solve this by creating additional uh, steps and additional component states if you want to, but I think it's not really a problem because it does work really well. So once again, we have created these two scrollable groups. We have created these hover effects. We have cre created hover effects for each of these menu items for these ones. And finally, you can, if you want to go ahead and create additional hover effects for this one, but I think it's not really necessary. The last thing I'm going to do is actually change its color because I think it stands out just a bit too much. So what I can do is go back to my design, locate it, so search bar. I'm going to use perhaps bottom player color. Let's see how that looks like. I think we didn't get much, but I think it's much less uh, darker than it was before. And now it's much better unified than before. So if I take you back, you can see it's much darker here and it's much lighter here to correspond better with this bottom player. So let's test this out one more time. And uh, by the way, you can scroll wherever you want and then click it's going to still be located in that position, as you can see, which is quite nice. So there we have it. This is our design. This is our animation. I really hope you guys enjoyed this project because I really enjoyed creating it. Once again, if you want to get this file and work on it yourself, change it out, do whatever you want with it. Link to the Patreon page if you want to support the channel is down in the description below. I really hope you enjoyed this video series and until next time, I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Thank you for watching this video and this video series. I really hope you enjoyed it and I really hope you understood and you liked some of the tips and techniques that you learned. If you did, make sure to press that like button. I upload new videos every single week on design, passive income techniques, motivation and more. So if you don't want to miss that, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.